Good evening, and welcome to Daybreak Warriors Navajo Word of the Day. Today's Navajo Word of the Day is Ba, which means for him, for her, for it. it this video is going to be a continuation of what you've already learned using the word Ashle, which means I'm making, present tense, um, to help you make um, Navajo sentences. For these videos, again, keep in mind the Navajo language um, structure for making sentences, object, action, verb. First example, if you want to say something like, I'm making it for him or for her, or for it meaning like a dog, you can say, Ba'ashle, Ba'ashle, very simple word, <laughs> Ba'ashle. If you want to say, like, I'm volunteering for it, like you're volunteering for some kind of event, you can say, Ba volunteer ashle, Ba volunteer ashle. Very simple word, very simple sentence. Uh, you can say something like, um, I am recording this movie for my brother. Now, using the object action verb sentence structure I showed you, the movie would be the object. Recording would be the action, and ashle would be the verb. In this example, ba, meaning for him, it goes between the object and the action, so between movie and record. Since it's for uh, my brother, he would be at the beginning of the sentence. So to say, I'm recording this movie for my brother. Should brother a movie ba record ashle? Your brother a movie but record a schle. So a the word a actually means um, it's referring to him. It's kind of hard to describe exactly um, what the word means. Um, all I can say is the more you see in sentences, you'll get a feel for how it goes and you'll get an understanding of what it means. Um, but a basically refers to the person you're talking about. Like if you're refer, it, it can be. A person, it can be an object, um, it just refers to whatever you're talking about. And again, it's kind of hard to uh, get into the details of what that actually means. So through repetitive examples, you'll eventually get the understanding of what A, um, how it works out in a sentence. The next example, if you want to say something like, I'm opening the door for my grandma, you can say, um, Should grandma, um, door but open ishle. Should grandma a door but open a schle. So the object would be the door, action would be open, the verb would be a schle. And since it's for grandma, ba, meaning for her, goes between door and open. So you would say, Should grandma a door but open a schle. Should grandma a door but open a schle. I'm opening the door for my grandma. If you want to say I'm um, Xeroxing some papers for my coworker, um, papers would be the object, Xerox would be the action, a schle would be the verb. So between the object and the action, you would put ba. So ba goes between papers and Xeroxing. So to say the sentence, um, and again, since it's for your coworker, that goes at the beginning of the sentence. So it would be a papers a papers and that's how you would say it. Now you can also say na meaning for you. Ni in na means you. Just like ba the bi in ba means him or her or it, like a dog or something, a pet. Um ba na so you can say something like door nalak a door nalak a shle door nalak a shle um I'm locking the door for you. If you want to make it like um I'll um can I lock the door for you? You can say door nalak a shle ya. And again ya at the end means like can I may I is it okay? Door nalak a shle ya. You can say um I'm ironing your shirt. Um, the shirt being the object, iron being the action, and a being the verb. So, um, na meaning for you goes between shirt and iron. So you would say ni ni shirt, your shirt ni shirt na iron a shle, ni shirt na iron a shle. 
And if you want to make it a like, can I iron your shirt? The shirt and the iron a shle ya. That's how that would work. Um, you can say something like, um, let me say this first. Now, with a lot of actions, you can just say a shle, but there are some outliers that you have to be very, very specific. Um, in some instances, you can say cook a shle if it's uh, one item like um, a piece of meat or something. But generally, if you're cooking for somebody, you would say, or if you're cooking in general, you say cook a e shle, cook a e shle. If you're saying I'm cooking for her, him, her, it, you would say ba cook a e shle, ba cook a e shle. Another outlier is cleaning. You can't say clean a shle. You would say clean the hushle, clean the hushle. I don't want you to say um, Daybreak Warrior taught you some bad Navajo. <laughs> uh, just like in English, there are some unusual outliers in the Navajo language, and those are one of them. So those are just two that you will just have to know, like cook a ishle and clean the hushle. And that's tonight's Navajo word of the day. Ba, for him, for her, or it, or na, for you. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to send me a message. Um, but other than that, have a good evening.